Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Mystic Post TV, we invite you to subscribe, thank you. Father Livio, Majidori expert and author of the definitive books on the Ten Secrets, has recently published a powerful article on why Russia's war with Ukraine, and the West, is the sign that the time of the secrets has arrived. He writes, since the beginning of the apparitions of Majigori, two themes have guided all the developments that concern worldly events and faith. The visionaries have told us clearly that the secrets are about chastisements and war, and therefore the world, and that Majigori is also about the church, therefore of faith. This is the trajectory that has lasted for over 40 years now. Satan wants to destroy human life, our planet, faith and the church in such a way as to harvest souls and bring them all into his infernal kingdom. Satan reaps souls of those who reject the faith and the cross. We got lost. Satan's plan was realized in that man put himself in the place of God. These are all statements taken from the messages of Our Lady who clearly sees from heaven what happens on earth. Satan's plan is being realized, it is reaching its fullness. At the same time, Our Lady also worked to strengthen the faith and the church, she chose a parish that from the beginning has attracted pilgrims and priests from all over the world. While Satan carries out his plan of destruction, Our Lady carries out her plan of resistance by strengthening the faith and the Church. By soliciting prayer and fasting, the Queen of Peace brought about the collapse of Communism in 1991. This was a great victory for Our Lady. This is the perspective we have behind us and it is now reaching a climax. The clash between the woman and the dragon with their respective objectives, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary on one side and the destruction of the world on the other, is entering the final phase that will take place in the time of the secrets. Mary's plan, which began in Fatima and which will be implemented in Medjugorje, is still in progress. Already in 1917 Our Lady prophesied the great evolution of Russia which would bring its errors into the world, would destroy the nations, would bloody persecute the Church, as it happened. There is no doubt that both in the messages of Fatima and in those of Medjugorje Russia plays a prominent role, as a protagonist. And she carries it out in an antichristic function. The Russian people have within them the characteristics of a world empire. The goal is very simple, relying on the Orthodox Church, Russia would carry out the divine mission of defending Christianity from Babylon, that is Europe and the whole West which must therefore be destroyed. While it is inconceivable and terrifying, it is a thesis that stands. The attack on Ukraine, in the Russian view, is an attack on the West which has betrayed the faith, which has adhered to the religion of gender. These accusations are made explicit by the Russians' own words, we are faithful to Christianity, you have gender, said Alexander Dugin, the famous Russian political scientist. More explicit than that is the engine of this war which is to rebuild the Russian Empire of Peter the Great, and to free the West from ideological slavery. From the Russian point of view, the current war would then have a liberating and messianic function, with the aim of destroying the West and ensuring that Babylon, Europe, is annihilated. This is Russia's war of ideals and it would therefore have a saving mission to carry out at all costs. Russia aspires to become mistress of the world, not only territorially. Is this the war with which Satan wants to destroy the world? The answer is yes, absolutely. Satan, has seasoned the war with the intent of his victory. The ideal with which this absurd war is carried out is the struggle for values, the struggle against gender, the struggle against perversion. As if destroying, bombing, kidnapping innocents, killing civilians were the practice of the gospel. We are absolutely out of any common sense. But let us not forget, in the West there are very strong Christian minorities who are committed to defending the life and dignity of the human person. But it is undeniable that in the West there are those who are working hard to build the new world without God, but at the same time there is also the strong and tangible presence of those who follow the Gospel. Satan is convinced that with this war, seasoned with false saving intentions, he will destroy the world and thus will be able to reach his goal of domination. Satan is playing all his cards in fact, as Our Lady said repeatedly in the last messages, never before has Satan been so strong. Satan's plan will fail. We know that the Immaculate Heart of Mary will triumph and there will be a time of peace for the world. For this we must be her collaborators, apostles of her love for her and respond to her call. Our Lady is calling, God bless and thank you for watching Mystic Post TV.